It happened, ladies and gentlemen. Labour have won the general election. Thank fuck for that. Yeah, the Conservatives got their asses handed to them last night with Labour winning 411 seats and the Conservatives losing, I think it was, 249 seats. Jesus Christ. That's, um, that's, they got fucked. Yeah, indeed. That's um, really rather embarrassing now, is it not? Um, I, the Conservatives didn't lose quite as badly as I was hoping they were going to lose, or quite as badly as I think some people were hoping they were going to lose. I think some people were hoping that they would turn into the third largest political party in the United Kingdom or something like this, or the Liberal Democrats would overtake them. Um, but yeah, that didn't seem to happen, unfortunately, which is like a kind of a slight downer on it. I, I think everyone knew that Labour were going to win anyway, but I mean, just by how much Labour were going to win, I think was up for dispute. Um, but yeah, it seems that the Conservatives, the Tories, they're out. It's fucking happened. This is brilliant. Um, or we hope it's going to be brilliant, even though a huge number of cynical voices on the left seem to be saying that it'll all just be the same and you've got to remember of course that the Labour Party are going to inherit a really fucked up financial situation for the country, an incredibly fucked up economy where you know we've maxed out the nation's credit card and all this sort of thing and um, yeah we can't expect changes to happen like that but I think in the future we can expect to have a better led country, I think we can um, expect to have the, the multitude of issues which have been faced in this country under austerity finally be brought to a close eventually, but, you know, not straight away. I'm just going to go and look at what the other parties have achieved last night. Liberal Democrats have got 71 seats, up 63. That's very good. Loads and loads of seats around where I live have become a Liberal Democrat now. Um, the seat where I actually voted is still a Tory seat, unfortunately. They said there was a chance that Labour would win it, South West Wiltshire. But so that didn't fucking happen, unfortunately, in spite of my best efforts by voting Labour. But um, yeah, nonetheless, what else? The Scottish National Party, nine seats. Sinn Féin, down 38. That is a hell of a drop. Sinn Féin, seven seats, independent, I guess that would include Jeremy Corbyn, six seats, Democratic Unionist Party, five seats, down three seats, Reform UK, four seats, up four, and the Green Party, four seats as well, so I guess that's kind of okay. Um, the Green Party, I think, being a valuable presence in Westminster in any case, I sort of wish I'd always voted for Green, but um, yeah, I never really it didn't really strike me as the right thing to do from a tactical standpoint. It felt kind of like a wasted vote, to be honest, a vote for the Green Party, particularly in the area in which I live, which, as I've said, has remained a Tory seat. But, um, yeah, nonetheless, I would quite like to vote Green in an ideal world, in an ideal world where we have proportional representation and they have a chance of actually gaining some meaningful hold on power. But, um, yeah, Reform UK got four seats as well. That's pretty disgusting. That's pretty dire. I hope it's not Nigel Farage winning in Clacton. I expect it probably is, though. That's an unfortunate thing to have to consider now, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, the dire, diabolical types who vote for Reform UK. Luckily, it's not some huge swathe of the population, and it really just is the bigoted, weird, malcontents who won't vote Tory anymore because the Tories have fucked the country inside out and um, who hate immigrants, clearly. But yeah, it's a good night, a very good night for politics, I think. A very good night for the country. I think we're going to see this place improve. I hope we see this place improve. I mean, if what Labour get into power and do what the Tories have done, I don't see that happening. I don't see them getting into power and, you know, starting things like HS2 and siphoning away the HS2 money to consultancy firms and trying to line their own pockets this way by doing that. I don't see them doing what David Cameron did in 2010 and legalising cannabis so that his mates in the Conservative Party could make money from selling medical weed and... Um, lining their pockets that way and I don't see the 
uh, the pyramid of kerfuffle getting any worse under Labour. I see, if anything, the pyramid of kerfuffle getting cleaned away and the country getting smartened up and beautified and made sweet and lovelier, sweeter and lovelier. And it should be a nice place to live from now on, let's hope. We would hope so, anyway. I hope that the cost of living crisis gets sorted out. We hope that all this sort of get stuff gets sorted out. We hope that uh, there's more money for the disabled, more money in my pocket, i.e. Um, more money from yeah, a reformed benefit system. Um, we hope that energy prices come down by nationalisation of the energy companies, removing all these middlemen from the system that frankly don't need to be there, who just want, who are just business people trying to line their own pockets, again via sort of a conservative policy of deregulation they've been allowed to proliferate and um, yeah I hope that the, the railways get brought into public ownership into administration so they can have cheaper fucking rail fare in this country and services that actually work well etc etc I hope that the NHS waiting lists come down under the Keir Starmer and I think he'll try and do everything in his power to make that fucking happen um, yeah I, I'm optimistic I'm tired. I haven't been up all night watching the election. I just went to sleep. But, um, because I sort of knew what was going to happen this morning. I didn't realise, like, I th well, I th that's like roughly what the exit polls said was going to happen, wasn't it? That they'd win by about 420 seats or so. But they got 411 seats, and maybe I was hoping that the Tories would do a bit worse than that. Oh well. <laughs> Still, I want to be in a good mood. I want to be happy about this. This is a happy occasion. This is a good day. Something great has happened. 14 years of Tory rule. Over. It's finally over. <coughs> you can be as cynical as you like about politics. This is a good step forward for everyone, I think. This is a step in the right direction. This is what needed to happen for a very long time. We got these scumbags out of office. We finally defeated them and defeated them by a hell of a margin. They did dreadfully in this election. We knew they were going to do dreadfully in this election. It's finally happened. I think, yeah, this is an excuse for some sort of celebration today. I think this is a great day for democracy. Even though our democracy doesn't have proportional representation, doesn't work quite as well as it should. But nonetheless, a happy occasion, I think. A triumph for first past the post, to some extent. And, um, yeah, we need to see all the things that Labour wants to do. Constitutional reforms. Um, the other shit. <laughs> yeah, reforming the House of Lords, which is what they always say they're going to do, but never get around to doing it. I think Blair said he was going to do it, but he never got around to doing it in his Labour government. Um, or never managed to do it, never managed to get hereditary peers finally out of the House of Lords. Um, we're introducing a retirement age for people in the House of Lords, so no people over the age of 80 have to get to sit in it and make decisions on the behalf of people vastly younger than them. <laughs> Slow down and hamper the process of election of bills passing through Parliament. We need more homes for the country. Labour will get on and build those. I imagine, and yeah, all these sorts of things, these things that we need, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's going to get done. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it can be worse than the Tories, I don't think that they'll be as venal or um, overtly criminal or as reactionary and nasty and callous as the Tory party. I think that they will do their best to make this place a better country. So thank you for watching everybody. This has been my uh, election update, I guess, or my reaction to the election or whatever. Thank you for watching, lovely lots to see you soon.